Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at how to multiply two matrices together. So we have this question here, this first matrix which we saw from our first video, how to input a matrix, multiplied by this one. Now, first thing we should always do when we ask to multiply matrices is see if the orders match up the way we want them to, um, for multiplication to exist. So if we have a look at this one, the order would be four rows by two columns. And if we look at this one, we're going to have three rows by two columns. So four rows by two and three rows by two. Now, for multiplication to exist, um, for matrix multiplication to exist, we want these two numbers, so the second number of the first matrix and the first number of the second matrix, to be the same. In this question, they're actually not the same. So matrix multiplication for this question is not defined. So we can't do it. So let's have a look at one we should be able to do. So in this case, what we have is a 4x2 matrix as before, that's the same matrix, 4x2. And then this one here has actually got two rows by three columns. So because these two match up, this is a matrix multiplication we can do. So it's defined, it exists. Now, we've already got this one input from the previous video, how to input a matrix. So M is already input but we need to input this new one. So again we go to 2D and calc, we choose the 2x2 two two first, we extend it this way this time, so we have a 2x3 matrix and we put in our numbers, so a 3, a negative 4, a 9, a 1, 11 and 6. And again, as before, we don't want to stop there, we want to make sure we input this matrix into a variable. So again, we use this arrow, we go to our VAR, variable button, use the caps lock, and this time let's input it into a letter like K. Okay, so again, once we've done that, either press the EXE here or the EXE here, so I'll use this one, and we're done. So we've got the K input. So what we're being asked to do is to multiply M by K. So don't use the multiplication sign, just have them side by side like we have here. And make sure the order is correct. So if this one's M and this one's K, make sure it's in the order of M then K. And once you've done that, it's as easy as pressing the EXE button once more, and that's your answer. And we're done. 